a Cirrus Vision jet deploys the chute, a wily Cessna attacks some unknowing boaters, and finally, some answers on the Navy jet crash near Fort Worth last year. This and more on Taking Off. Welcome to Taking Off, I'm Christy Wong. Today's episode is brought to you by our awesome sponsors, Flying Eyes Optics, Colton Mortgage, and Marshall Protective Services. I'm on location at Denton Enterprise Airport today, checking up on the Wong Warrior. She's currently undergoing her annual inspection, which is why she's all torn apart. And I like to be hands-on when I can, so here we are. We've got some things to go over today, so let's jump right into it. First, we're going to follow up on the crash of that Navy T-45. One year ago, on September 19th, 2021, news spread quickly of a Navy jet trainer going down in a Lake Worth neighborhood. The instructor pilot and student ejected when their plane suffered a malfunction, and thankfully, they both survived. But up until now, we didn't know what actually caused the malfunction. Well, dramatic new footage has been published and shows exactly what happened. These guys inadvertently ingested a four and a half pound vulture into their engine, which on a T-45 happens to be the only engine. This was a training flight that originated in Corpus Christi and the plane was on final approach to Carswell in Fort Worth, Texas. In the video, you can see the runway ahead when a couple of large black birds fly by, followed by one very large bird come right into view of the windscreen, followed by an expletive followed by an alarm going off. The airplane tries to maintain altitude, but it just can't. This all happened very quickly, really within a matter of seconds. And from the looks of it, these guys honestly didn't have much opportunity to do anything. So it looks like ejecting was their only option. We're just glad they're okay. It's too bad they didn't have a chute on the plane like the Cirrus Vision Jet that went down the other day. On September 9th, November 77, Victor Juliet went down in a swampy wooded area in Osceola, Florida. Oh man, I'm so sorry if I butcher the pronunciation. Just leave a comment below and let me know if I did it right or not. The airplane had departed Opa Loca Executive Airport in South Florida around 2.13 p.m. Eastern time, and it was headed to Kissimmee Gateway Airport. The weather was poor as there were thunderstorms in the area, and we know from local META reports that the wind was gusting in the 30s and it was raining very heavily. It was around 3 p.m. Eastern time when the plane reportedly encountered severe turbulence and the pilot made the decision to go ahead and pull the chute. The plane came down hard, cartwheeled, and ended up in a swampy wooded area. The crash seriously injured one of the three occupants, but fortunately there were zero fatalities. Now, we don't know much more about what all happened or why the pilot decided to pull the chute, but what we do know is that this is the first actual chute deployment of a Cirrus Vision Jet in real life conditions. More information will come out in due time as the NTSB investigates, but one thing's for sure, the chute probably saved lives that day. We wish everybody on board a speedy recovery. Okay, here's a face palm for you. A reckless pilot crashes a plane. Imagine that. But here's where it gets interesting. This guy was filmed by several eyewitnesses flying just feet above boaters in Horse Tooth Reservoir. This fun little recreation spot is located near Fort Collins, Colorado. People were out just enjoying their day boating and fishing when all of a sudden a wild Cessna appeared and started dive bombing toward them. Now, because the modern age dictates that people with cell phones probably have cameras on them at all times, several witnesses captured pictures and videos of the wily pilot doing his wily pilot things. Of course, the police were notified of the erratic stunts and they in turn sent out a request for any eyewitnesses to share pictures and videos of what they had. It's safe to say that the police received more than enough evidence to press some sort of charges, especially since the flight ended up in a crash on the other side of the foothills. The two occupants on board did survive, which is good because they've got some explaining to do. Okay. I love airplanes as much as the next pilot, but just like with any vehicle, not for careless or reckless means, which could endanger others. It's pretty egregious when you use your skills to taunt helpless bystanders, and it's really stupid when you disrespect physics. 
As one eyewitness said, he was just being an idiot. I sure hope he learns his lesson after this. When you see accidents like that, it's easy to see why the number of crashes are going up each year. But are they actually going up? According to an NTSB report, citing numbers from 2018 to now, the numbers of accidents are actually decreasing, at least in the United States. For example, in 2018, there were 1,034 accidents. And in 2021, there were 882. There's been 873 accidents so far in 2022, but even the number of fatalities from accidents is decreasing. Obviously, we want that number to be zero, but the fact that it's mostly trending down is hopeful. Knowing these stats now, what do you think that we as pilots can do to better prevent these types of accidents from happening? What can we do to keep those accident numbers trending down? For airline pilots, we go through mandatory recurrent training. During this type of training, we do a couple of days of ground school and then a few days of simulator sessions to practice emergencies and maneuvers that we wouldn't normally do in the actual jet. For example, I get to go do upset attitude recoveries, engine out approaches, and other super fun maneuvers in the sim to test me, train me, and keep my skills sharp. My airline requires that this be done every 12 months and I'm actually gearing up to start my recurrent training this week. In fact, that's why, unfortunately, I'll have to miss out on the Reno Air Races this year. Dan and Bailey will be there though, so watch out for the videos of their adventures in Nevada. Well, it's time to go get back to work. Thanks for everyone for supporting us. We appreciate everything you do. Be kind, fly safe, and we'll see you next time on Taking Off.